Hey guys, I'm back in. It's half. If you didn't know that already, you probably did, otherwise you probably wouldn't have clicked on this video. This is part five of my purples comparison of all the purples in my nail polish collection. Um, as I've said in other videos, I probably missed some. Um, I have a reused nail wheel to swatch these so you can see them all. Um, yeah, so we have some interesting polishes this time, so let's get into it. The first two are not necessarily a fair comparison. However, I'm going to compare them anyway because they look kind of similar in the model. This one here is actually a crinkled chrome, so it is a textured polish. It has like a lumpy finish to it. I actually quite like it. Uh, this one is called Crush Crush Baby. Um, yeah, from China Glaze. I'm going to compare it to this polish from the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Pedal to the Metal. Um, I actually remember to shake all of these polishes before I started, which I didn't do in like my first eight videos doing this. So, crinkled chrome. Ugh, I didn't swipe off the bottle and I just made a mess. This is pretty much a one coat polish. You really don't need to put two coats on. And I'll try not to stick all of my other polishes into the blob I just made. So it is a light, very light purple. Um, it's a, uh, I think it's probably a lavender. And pedal to the metal, which on the first coat of it is more, um, almost like a platinum pewtery, like a very light pewter kind of colour. It doesn't really look purple, honestly. It's more purple in the bottle. So, not necessarily a fair comparison. <laughs> The next two polishes are on the other end of the spectrum. We have this one here, which is from Polished London. I actually quite like Polished London polishes. This one is called High Street. And this one here is from a brand, which I only have a couple of these, um, Alessio. They're actually really, really nice polishes. Um, this one is London de Royale. It's, yeah, they're actually really nice. They're also kind of really expensive if you buy them, like, full price. <laughs> so, Polished London's High Street. As you can see, it is... Oh, making, it's got, like, lumps in it. When did that happen? Wow. As you can see, it's a little... It's a little shitty, even though I normally like Polish London polishes. I don't know whether it's because it smells a bit. I don't know whether maybe it's being weird in the bottle or something. I'm just giving it another shake. I'll have to retake the lid off. But, um, but the Alessio, I think it's Alessio. I actually don't know how they pronounce it. It could be Alessio. Um, has a really nice brush. really nice to apply and just look at that the color is just gorgeous doesn't look anything like the polish london one at this point but oh it's so beautiful all right next we have a trio we have from madame glam uh, we have purple fiction Madame Glam is basically an indie brand. They specialize more in gel polishes these days. I've had these for quite some time. Um, I'd like to kind of buy more, but the shipping um, and exchange rate kills me. Uh, this one is from Rimmel's Lasting Finish Pro line. I really like most of the polishes I have in this line. This one is Wild Orchid. And we have this one from Sephora by OPI, which is... Iris, I was thinner. Arf, arf, arf. 
So, the Madame Glam Purple Fiction. Kind of a little bit on the thin side, the formula, but it um, applies really nicely. Can't complain. I haven't actually played with my Madame Glam polishes for ages. Uh, the Rimmel Lasting Finish Pro, super nice brush, super similar colours, <laughs> super similar. Uh, the, the Lasting Finish Pro might be just a touch darker. And then the Sephora by OPI. little bit thinner, a little bit streakier. I think on the second coat though, they're all going to look even more similar than they currently look. <laughs> they do look very similar. Um, okay, next three, we have another uh, Rimmel. We have this one from the Salon Pro line. This is Seduce. I'm going to compare it to Orly's Charged Up. I only have a mini of it. And Revlon's Impulsive. Undo the lid. Still doesn't want to come off. So... Um, the Rimmel, tiny bit thin on the first coat, not as good as the Salon Pro matte ones, they are like one coat amazing polishes. <laughs> Charged up by Orly. Off the bat it seems to be a bit, um, warmer in tone and impulsive oopsie made a mess wow that's twice on one video um it's darker but it's also thinner i think None of those three actually have a particularly good formula, I have to say. Just, they just, yeah, not so great. Okay, and the last three for this video are these three sparkly beauties. So, from Morgan Taylor, we have If Looks Could Thrill. I think I have like five or six Morgan Taylor polishes. From Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer. We have Rock Princess, which is just gorgeous. And from Maybelline Color Show, we have Plum Paradise. Oops. So, the Morgan Taylor, if looks could thrill. See, it has quite... Well, actually, I don't know if you can see, but it has quite a dark base with lots of purpley pink shimmer going on there. A little tiny bit on the thin side. Then we have Rock Princess from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer, which I wish was still in production because I love her polishes. Which has a very similar dark base, and they're both kind of a little sheer. Not going to lie. Um, it doesn't come across quite as purple um, as the Morgan Taylor. And it has like the same components. And then Maybelline Color Show in Plum Paradise. Which looks completely different on the nail. Yeah, that doesn't. 
they all look the same in the bottle, but they, they're not looking the same on the nail right at this very moment. Okay, so we'll go back around the wheel. I'm not going to put another coat on of the crinkled chrome, because there's really no point. As you can see, it is. When it dries down, it has this... It's a slightly rough texture, but it's it's like bar glitters that are not sticking up. They're like lying flat. I actually really like it. <laughs> That's just me. So, pedal to the metal, we'll do another coat of... And whilst in the bottle they look kind of similar, once they're on the nail, there's... Petal to the middle just ends up looking kind of blah. It's not even silver, but it's not purple either. It's kind of like somewhere in between, and it's just, I don't know. It's its not any everything I would probably have hoped for with a colour like that. Um, yeah, it just looks vaguely purple in the bottle. Um, so we'll move on to Polish London's High Street. Put on a thicker coat in case you don't want to go on, probably. I don't know why that is because I don't remember ever having a problem with my Polish London's before. There you go. But now that it's got you know, a bit more coverage going on there, it looks a lot more like the. Um, a Leckio one. Another coat on of this, even though it's almost opaque in one. So the Alecchio London de Royale is darker, a uh, lot more pigmented, goes on so much easier than the Polish London one. I think they're probably about the same price though, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I think probably full retail price, they're similar kind of prices. In other words, they're both expensive. Um, yeah. The Alecchio one, so gorgeous. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, that's those two. Similar, not the same. So, the Madame Glam in Purple Fiction... A beautiful, beautiful nail polish. And you think I put that on quite thick and it just stayed where I put it. It hasn't like moved around too much, which is always nice. Rimmel in Wild Orchid. When it's wet, it looks very similar. And then they both kind of darken slightly as they dry. They are actually very, very similar. And the Sephora by OPI in Iris I Was Thinner. Um, okay, so the Madame Glam is a very, very small amount darker than the Rimmel Wild Orchid. And the Sephora by OPI is slightly warmer in tone than both of them. It's got a bit more pink to it. They are all very, very similar. Now, unfortunately, I'm not sure that you can get any of them anymore. I'm pretty sure that Sephora by OPI is no longer on the market. The Rimmel, this particular line of Rimmel, I don't think you can get any more unless you buy it on like Amazon or something like that. And the Madame Glam, I have a feeling that Purple Fiction is one of the ones that she discontinued. Um, which is kind of sad if you actually like that colour. But I'm sure there's this colour in other brands. It's just, they're the ones that I have that are that colour. But they are all very similar. Super duper similar. Like, I'm not going to lie. They're super similar. <laughs> okay, so um, Rimmel Salon Pro in Seduce. I wish it had the formula of the Lasting Finish Pros because it just 
I have to work a little bit harder, like finesse it a little bit more to get it on the nail. But when you do get it on the nail, it is very, very pretty. I will give it that. Orly charged up. I just made another mess. I'm trying so hard to like get a decent coat on knowing that I had like a thin brush, like a small brush that I've just splodged everywhere. It's still kind of a little sheer. It's not my favourite Orly, I have to say. I have others that I like a lot more. And then the Revlon in Impulsive. I really don't like teeny tiny brushes. I like a nice fat wide brush. So just for the brush I'd go for the Rev uh, the Rimmel one but um. <laughs> and when it came down to it after putting on two coats the Rimmel actually performed better. Uh, Colour wise the Rimmel and the Rimmel right there Seduce and Impulsive are actually very similar polishes. They actually look very similar. The formula on the Rimmel one ends up being better after two coats. Um, there's still some patchiness going on with the Revlon one. That would make me probably want to do three coats if it was on my nails. The Charged Up by Orly is lighter than the other two. Um, and again, it's one that you might actually need three coats of to actually get it opaque on the nail. So, yeah. That's those three. And the last three we have. Morgan Taylor's If Looks Could Thrill. Don't go picking yourself up there, Polish. See, it's doing that horrible picking itself up thing. I hate that. It always makes me want to do like three coats. But it is really, really pretty. <laughs> it is very, very pretty. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to sit there and stare at that all day. But I won't, because you guys will get bored. Angel Kiss No Lucker in Rock Princess. Mm -hmm. Of all of the ones that I have from Angel Kiss, Kiss Nail Lacquer, I think this is probably the one that would probably benefit from going over a darker base. It's a little bit, it's a little bit sheerer than some of her other polishes. Some of her other polishes are literally one coat polishes. I have a yellow from her that you can pretty much do in one coat, which is almost unheard of. Um, they're not the same colour, those two, clearly. Um, the Morgan Taylor has a lot more purpley pink it's like um and this is a lot cooler it's like a lighter and cooler purple and plum paradise from maybelline color show there's another one that almost needs three coats uh, yeah it's not the same <laughs> It's all I'm going to say. It's not the thing. It's actually closer to ones that I swatched in other videos than it is to these two. Uh, it's closer to um, Wonder Violet than it is to um, which I think was in the first Purples comparison. Um, yeah, so yeah, not the same. They look very similar in the bottle. All three of them they look very similar in the bottle but on the nail they all come out very very different so that is it for this comparison video I will be back with the last part um, I will leave the other parts linked down below uh, if you want to subscribe click down there leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos and let me comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video see ya